The time has come once again for me to do one of those videos. The kind of videos that show you a tactics game that has been obscured by the sands of time and the fact that it was only released in Japan. Today is... Today I am bringing you Hide and Seek Battle Monster Tactics, inspired slightly by that... by that video that Master Knight DH made. If you want a better explanation of this game, then you should watch his, because, unlike me, he can read Japanese. So, so here's here's basically how the game works. Uh, this is very early. This is a very early stage in the game, so there so there's isn't usually more than one more than one character on each side. But as you can see, we take turns hitting each other, and you will actually do more damage if you hit if you hit an enemy from behind rather than in front. And I'm at, this is actually a redo of one of, of one of the earlier battles because at this point I I've beaten various monsters and after beating a couple monsters yeah you start to get their you start to get their abilities and I already had and I already had a few abilities by the time I got to that battle so that's why it was so easy. This, however, is a is a recording of the of the, my first time going against this monster, and unfortunately, battle monster tactics just fell victim to the one thing that I hate in strategy games: fog of war. But then again, they don't call it hide and seek battle monster tactics for nothing. So you can see there, I just picked up an item, and now I got to be careful because I can only see what's like three feet in front of me. Yeah. Yeah, because if you're if you're not careful in this in this fog of war stuff, then then you can get smacked from behind. So the tactic here is to basically walk up to an enemy, hit him once, and then and then I was as I was saying, walk up to an enemy, hit him once like that, and then run into an area where he won't be able to see you. See, he doesn't see me, but that's a bit of a risk because I can't see very much in that position. And it turns out he's right next to me, so I just give him another hit. Yeah, he didn't see me again. So I find him again, hit him again. Yeah. And don't you hate it when they have only one or two hit points left after you hit him with a strong attack like that? Uh oh, he saw me and now he's gonna hit me. I just barely hung on there. Yeah, lucky for me I beat him. And now I have his ability. That's basically how the game works. Oh, and by the way, when you beat beat the boss monster of an area, I guess that was the boss, I don't actually know. When you beat the boss monster of an area, you can actually go down a floor and to to where there's more stuff for you to fight. I guess. I don't actually know very much. So this is So I actually tried to fight this monster a couple times, but lost because I just, I just guess I needed to level up a few times. So there was an item there, but I didn't, but I already picked it up, and that was a stupid move. That was a stupid move, because I was really close to him, but he didn't see me, so he doesn't know where I am yet. I left him with 7 HP, I hate it when that happens.
Now I got lucky because he couldn't get close enough to hit me again. I, I should also mention that those special abilities that you get from the monsters can only be used once per battle. To prevent spamming, I guess. Yeah, I can tell I'll be using that ability a lot for sure. 